Hey everybody, so a classmate asked, what is a CIA triad and why is it important? To begin, let's first understand what the CIA triad stands for. Here's a hint, it actually doesn't refer to the Central Intelligence Agency. Instead, this CIA stands for Confidentiality, Integrity, and Availability. It's a security model that has been developed to help people think about various parts of IT security and identify problem areas in the cybersecurity industry. To understand these concepts more, let's break down these terms further. First off, confidentiality refers to the protection of people's sensitive and private information from unauthorized access. Protecting confidentiality is dependent on being able to define and enforce certain access levels for information. In some cases, doing this involves separating information into various collections that are organized by who needs access to the information and how sensitive that information actually is, such as by evaluating the amount of damage suffered if the confidentiality was breached. For integrity, we are dealing with the protection of this data from deletion or modification by any unauthorized party. It ensures that when an authorized person makes a change that should not have been made, that it's possible for the damage to be reversed. Availability refers to the actual accessibility of your data. Authentication mechanisms, access channels, and systems all have to work properly for the information they protect and ensure it's available when it is needed. High availability systems, abbreviated as HA systems, are computing resources which have architectures specifically designed to improve this availability. Based on the specific HA system design, this may target hardware failures, upgrades, or power outages. From this breakdown, it's clear that the CIA triad is all about how we interact, use, protect, and access information. Therefore, understanding what it is can help implement a quality security policy while understanding the various principles behind it. Let's take the example of the recent ransomware attack on Colonial Pipeline on May 6th. This attack not only emphasized the susceptibility of critical infrastructure in the U.S. to cyber attacks, but also demonstrated how we can protect our systems further in the future against these harms. Ransomware is a type of malware that employs encryption to hold a victim's information at ransom. A user or organization's critical data is encrypted so they cannot access files, databases, or applications. A ransom is then demanded to actually provide this access. Ransomware is often designed to spread across a network and target database and file servers, and can thus run quickly and paralyze an entire organization. Ransomware uses asymmetric encryption, which is a cryptography that uses a pair of keys to encrypt and decrypt a file. The public-private pair of keys is uniquely generated by the attacker for the victim, with the private key to decrypt the files stored on the attacker's server. The attacker often makes the private key available to the victim only after the ransom is paid, though this is not always the case. And without access to this private key, it's nearly impossible to decrypt the files that are being held for ransom. For the recent pipeline attack, DarkSide Ransomware was specifically responsible for compromising Colonial Pipeline's operations, hacking into the company's networks, encrypting their files to deny Colonial Pipeline access, and extorting the company with a roughly $5 million Bitcoin payment to restore service. This caused disastrous consequences, as the pipeline system delivers about 45% of the gasoline consumed on the East Coast. And while Colonial restarted its pipeline about a week ago, it took time to resume a full delivery schedule, and that panic buying led to gasoline shortages. These kinds of ransomware attacks have been on the rise recently, for many reasons. First, the use of anonymous cryptocurrency for payment, such as Bitcoin, makes it difficult to follow the money trail and track down these attackers. And second, easy availability of open source code and drag and drop platforms to develop such ransomware tools has actually accelerated the creation of new ransomware variants and helped script novices actually create their own ransomware. Looking at the effects of these attacks through the traditional CIA triad lens, these attacks hit all the parts. Confidentiality of data is breached with such critical information and data from companies being lost to the attackers. The integrity of a data is always at risk as the hackers have access to such data themselves and are able to manipulate and delete the information as they so choose. And availability of data is violated as hackers demand money to restore the company's access to their own systems and data. Therefore, executives and companies typically focus on the first aspect of the triad, as the loss of confidentiality typically results in fines, brand damage, loss of customer confidence, and high remediation costs. Therefore, some basic precautionary measures can be taken to address these issues and prevent such attacks from harming more people. 
First, make backups on a regular basis and for more than a single day. By keeping the backup on a separate device and if possible, storing it offline makes it harder for hackers to access. This way, hackers cannot threaten to restrict your own access to your information as you already have it stored and accessible through other means. Second, secure your backups. Make sure your backup data is not accessible for modification or deletion from the systems where the data resides. And ransomware will look for data backups and encrypt or delete them so they also cannot be recovered. So by using backup systems that are secure, you're not allowing direct access to such backup files. Third, make sure all your computers and devices are protected with comprehensive security software by keeping all of your software up to date. Make sure you update your device's software early and often, as patches for security flaws are typically included in each update. Fourth, practice safe surfing. Be careful whenever you click on something. Don't respond to emails and text messages from people you don't know, and only download applications from trusted sources. This is important since malware authors often use social engineering to try to get you to install dangerous files. Fifth, only use secure networks. Avoid using public Wi-Fi networks since many of them are not secure and cyber criminals can snoop on your internet usage easily. Instead, consider installing a VPN, which provides you with a secure connection to the internet no matter where you go. Sixth, stay informed. Keep current on the latest ransomware threats so you know what to look out for. In the case that you do get a ransomware infection and have not backed up all your files, know that some decryption tools are made available by tech companies to help victims. And finally, share such information. Provide regular security awareness for every member of your organization and make sure that your family and friends know about these types of attacks so that they too can avoid and be safe from other phishing and social engineering harms. I hope this video helps you to learn more about the CIA triad and its importance in cybersecurity.